Sairam, welcome to Shri Satya Sai Lok Seva Gurukulam Online Services. Let's learn English series with Mrs. Kalpana Hebliko. So today, friends, we are going to learn reciprocal pronouns. Now let us see what is reciprocal pronouns. Okay, let us see the definitions. I want you to be very careful in learning all these definitions because it is very important. These are pronouns that express mutual relationship and actions. Okay, A very easy. These are pronouns that express mutual relationship and actions. Okay, they are used to indicate that what two or more people are carrying out or have carried out an action of same type and both receiving the benefits or consequences of that action simultaneously. Okay, So, see when we read this, it is so simple English, it is told you can understand. These are pronouns that express mutual relationship and actions. Okay, They are used to indicate that what two or more people are carrying out okay, or have carried out an action of same type and both receiving the benefits or consequences of that action simultaneously. Okay. Now, let us see. When you see the example, you will know properly. Reciprocal pronouns are used any time when something is done or given in return. Reciprocal pronouns are used any time when something is done or given in return. Okay. What makes reciprocal pronouns different from the other pronouns? This is very important. Okay. First one, they replace multiple sounds that are receiving the action at the same time. They replace multiple nouns that are receiving the action at the same time. Okay? They replace nouns that are not receiving any actions. They replace nouns that are not receiving any actions. Okay. They are the ones doing actions in the sentence. They are the ones doing action in the sentence. There is no difference between reciprocal pronoun and other pronouns. There is no difference between reciprocal pronouns and other pronouns. Example, each other, one another. Okay. The two, let us see some of the examples of reciprocal pronouns. The two sisters love each other very much. So, it shows the relation. See. So, the two sisters love each other very much. Yes. Let us see the second example. There is so much unity in the team that they are always seen supporting one another. Okay? There is so much unity in the team that they are always seen supporting one another. Okay? Yes. Then Sita and Gita exchanged yellow roses with each other on friendship day. Sita and Gita exchanged yellow roses with each other on friendship day. Tom and Jerry ran behind each other tirelessly. Tom and Jerry ran behind each other tirelessly. Yes, how many of you still watch Tom and Jerry? Yes, even I too watch when I am sometimes, you know, very tired. I watch Tom and Jerry. It 
it takes you suddenly to a different level of you know happiness and joy we forget the tiredness yes and this tom and jerry is the one which even the child to the oldest person will enjoy there is no one saying that oh i am bored seeing this tom and jerry no one will say even if you see for 100 times you will enjoy yes yes you have to agree for this then fifth sentence the students congratulated one another after the results were announced the students congratulated one another after the results were announced the children spent their day playing with each other the children spent their day playing with each other the defendants blamed one another the defendants blamed one another so now this defendants is a new word for you all let us learn the spelling d e f e n d a n t s defendants d e f e n d a n t s defendants okay so you have to see the spelling in the dictionary now those of you who are new to my this lesson what you have to do is you have to go to the previous lessons and see how to make use of the dictionary okay then you will come to know if any difficulty you can put in the comment box and ask me the question on the last day of the school we gave each other gifts when on trips to different places we often bring valuable gifts for each other when on trips to different places we often bring valuable gifts for each other twins who were separated in childhood were stunned to meet one another in the teens teens means when they are young twins who were separated in childhood were stunned to meet one another in teens so now we have loud reading and handwriting practice let us see what is there in store for us so important english grammar rules now let us see what are the important english grammar rules which is continuation from the last lesson so rule number 8 an independent clause consists of a subject and a predicate like a complete sentence so an independent clause consists of a subject and a predicate like a complete sentence okay example the plane landed okay the plane landed so it is a independent sentence which consists of a subject and a predicate like a complete sentence okay meaning is complete the meaning is complete the plane landed okay now rule number 9 what it says a dependent clause cannot form a complete sentence without additional words dependent clause contain words like because this when that now let us see what see a dependent clause a dependent clause cannot form a complete sentence without additional words so the meaning is incomplete without using these words dependent clause contain words like because this when that example when the plane flew the monkey screeched loudly when the plane flew the monkey screeched loudly okay what is the meaning of screeched yes the monkey's make sound no that screeched s c r e e c h e d screeched s c r 
E E C H E D screeched. Yes. Now we will see the motivational quote. Hardships often prepare. Ordinary people for extraordinary destiny. C. S. Lewis. Okay. Hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. So, what does it say? When many hardship comes, we become very disappointed, right? And we lose hope, but we should not. because it is preparing us to be a better person in future so thank you for watching shri satyasai lok seva gurukulam online classes let's learn english series with mrs kalpana hablekar hope the light of love and grace be showered on you and let you progress and prosper in your spiritual and material journey together thank you and sairam